In October, the 23rd Wing, along with Partner Wings, executed Operation Iron Thunder, a dynamic force employment mission at Pacific Theater. During this operation, the Flying Tigers deployed as a lead wing, designated as the 23rd Air Expeditionary Wing, to validate Air Combat Command's ability to provide rapidly deployable combat capability to combat commands. The 23rd Air Expeditionary Wing included attack aircraft, personnel recovery task force, base defense squadron, mobility assets, an air base squadron, and command and control to conduct operations for over two weeks. The 23rd Air Expeditionary Wing stood up at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, bringing forces together from over 8,000 miles apart. Within 24 hours of the start of the operation, the Flying Tigers opened an additional enduring location, known as a forward operating site in Palau, enabling sustained fighter, combat rescue, and mobility operations away from the main base. Throughout Iron Thunder, the Flying Tigers conducted simultaneous and coordinated operations from both locations. Over the next 10 days, the Flying Tigers operate with partners and from multiple contingency locations around the Pacific. The contingency locations enable the rapid generation of fighter aircraft and expanded operations for mobility and rescue forces throughout the theater for short durations. These locations were operated by multi-cable airmen from the 23rd Wing's Air Base Squadron, 93rd Air Ground Operations Wing, and contingency response airmen from the 36th Wing, integrating together under one command to get the mission done. While in theater, the Flying Tigers conducted advanced training over a 250,000 square mile area of operations, including bomber task force integration, partnering solutions for combat rescue, maritime surface warfare, operations from steer runways with deployable refueling, and execute contingency location combat turns while under simulated attack. We chose the 23rd wing because we had a desire from PACAF to have a lead wing come out and work within the Agile Combat Employment construct in Indo-PACOM. It has really helped to have a lead wing here to carry out execution of this Agile Combat Employment event and that frees up space for the PACAF staff to focus on operations as a whole in the theater while the lead wing executes this specific operation. I think part of what these events have identified is just how we can think differently about the way that we execute logistics, how we can streamline what we're doing, the ways that we can either rely on expeditiously contracting something that, that we need as opposed to bringing it there uh, you know, via traditional airlift and operating outside of a mindset that we have been in with Central Command for the past 25 years, uh, evolving to what Indopaycom needs. Integrating with other assets is something we've always prided ourselves in. The close air support mission has always been detailed integration. It's just in close proximity to friendly troops on the ground. So now we're translating that detailed integration on the ground to in the air for strike packages and A-10 needs to remain dynamic and able to change the way we've done things in the past to stay relevant. The Bomber Task Force mission was for at least a min force of one B-1 and one A-10 from Guam to launch and execute the mauled. So instead of carrying just weapons, we would carry these decoys and we would launch them and then the B-1s would guide them in on their flight profiles as they get closer to enemy territory and the enemy would target these decoys instead of the actual jets. We have the capability of landing at austere uh, airfields or on dirt strips, which we demonstrated with our FOSS and CLs or contingency locations uh, out to the west. And then furthermore, we're able to carry a lot of strike capabilities and not only execute that mission, but then have loiter time and the gas to linger for additional mission sets. The crews were very willing and excited to integrate with us as well, which was awesome to see uh, that they are also willing to push the boundaries of what our aircraft are thought to be able to do and get ready for the next fight. We had a fixed wing jump team, six pararescuemen who were prepared to jump into the ocean via parachute and rescue. We were really focused on the A-10 pilots that we were covering for this exercise. Uh, but the problem then becomes how do you get back? C-130 can't pick you up out of the water. So we, we looked at civilian resources within our AOR there to come and pick us up utilizing those host nation assets in order to uh, get us back to shore and then ultimately get that patient to uh, the right level of care. 
Uh, working with host nations is really important, especially in Indo-PACOM, because they, they understand that tropical environment. We can't be everywhere at once, especially in that large of an AOR. And because of that, we are looking at the ability to utilize those host nations in order to affect those rescues. It's pretty neat to be able to see like the ability of just a local fisherman. Uh, we were able to utilize him and got right to where we needed to go. We can't just rely on these small CLs always being in the most peaceful places. How do we deal with a contingency location where when you actually arrive, you don't just get allowed by the adversary uh, to do whatever you want at that airfield for however long? In this particular scenario, what we exercised was uh, coming in on a C-130 and conducted basically a combat landing and an engine running offload and then protected it as it departed the area. We have the ability to take uh, one of the three base defense squadrons and plug them into the lead wing construct as, an, as a force attachment. And so that gives uh, any air expeditionary wing commander under the lead wing construct, and in this case, uh, 23rd, uh, the ability to have its own uh, pretty elite air base defense force um, to be able to attach and pair and tailor to any sort of level of threat, the amount of fields that we need, et cetera, uh, to just give you a flexible ability to, to protect air bases. In this case, at Northwest Field, we were able to simulate a contingency location we needed to open to service aircraft, but was going to have a residual ground threat that we needed to deal with. Um, so we are able to do air-to-ground integration and work through you know, airmen who aren't JTAC qualified uh, working in a combat situation uh, with those pilots over the radio to get uh, good effects on target and to use the A-10s to freeze enemy movement while we operate that contingency location. One of the key elements in agile combat employment is working with partners and allies. During Operation Iron Thunder, the Flying Tigers took every opportunity to engage with partners to conduct combined training and make infrastructure improvements from roads and operating site power generation to equipment repair and sustainment. Here's one example of our multi-cable airmen from the Air Base Squadron working with partners to increase their local capability. We established a memorandum of agreement between Palau International Airport Fire Department and then our wing coming out, and then all future U.S. Air Force firefighters that could potentially be out there for an expanded amount of time. We were able to provide them training on the A-10s. It allowed us to gauge where their training was at and how we operated and able to show them what we do in the event of emergency. They had one truck that was out of service and wasn't able to work due to a common turret problem that we actually have here. Our fire truck and refueler maintenance was actually there with us he was able to break it apart and fix their turret on the spot. And they had another truck with another issue and he was able to identify the part number and provide that for them so that they can get that truck fixed as well. We want to build a friendship and something that can last so the next guys that come into there, whether they be Air Force firefighters or maybe the Marines will go there after, but it allows them to walk into a department and had the stage set for them as far as they're accepting of U.S. military personnel. They're going to work hard for them and they took care of them while we were out there. During Operation Iron Thunder, the 23rd Wing proved that Air Combat Command's lead wing concept can rapidly deploy command and control as well as agile combat support to enable combat operations wherever they are needed. We remain ready to do it again, anytime, anywhere, against any adversary. Ready to show the world, Tigers League.